The British Geological Survey is, funnily enough, is about almost the same age as Harriet Watt. It started in 1835 and we've been an applied geological research organisation all that time. So Charles Lyell had an association with Harriet Watt in the very early years. Just 12 years after the founding of Harriet Watt, at least what became Harriet Watt University as we now know it, by Sir Leonard Horner as one of those founding fathers. His daughter, Mary Horner, married. Sir Charles Lyle. The Sir Charles Lyle Centre is a fantastic new initiative between Harriet Watt University and the British Geological Survey. It's a £17 million new project, a new building that's going to integrate the research of British Geological Survey with the Earth and Marine Scientists of Harriet Watt University. Uh, the Earth is a treasure trove of all sorts of different natural resources. At the Institute of Petroleum Engineering, we're very much focused on the energy resources, oil and gas, uh, marine renewable energies and the like. But we also uh, have a strong interest in history in the broader geosciences, the earth sciences. So the complementarity of the Harriet Watt research and the BGS research, there's very little overlap, but it they complement each other so fantastically that it opens up new multidisciplinary research opportunities. We're investing over eight million pounds in global platform appointments who are going to join that new unit to push forward the frontiers in earth marine science and technology. The Shell Centre is an exciting new development at Herit Watt. Uh, it's the opportunity that we've got to look at exploration geoscience in challenging environments but also extending the life of mature basins like the North Sea Oil and gas research in BGS is an important part of our programme and we've built up the number of PhD students we have from 30 to 40 up to about 100 and we're just thrilled to be working with Harriet Watt on oil and gas research. The centre of doctoral training is supported by the Natural Environmental Research Council. It's a major new initiative, it's a game changer, once in a lifetime opportunity where the Research Council is going to support PhD research allied to a training academy in the oil and gas sector. The Institute of Petroleum Engineering is a world leading petroleum engineering department. We're bringing the geological expertise of our work in the North Sea and together we can move forward in understanding new processes of fluid flow and these are going to be really important in the future with carbon dioxide storage underground. By bringing together Harriet Watt and its history of technologically led research with the British Geological Survey's understanding of the geology and subsea bed environment around the UK, we have a really exciting opportunity to push forward the frontiers in all of those areas. Really, this is just the start and we're very excited about seeing where this development takes us in the future. <laughs>